close. You come up close. Come up close. It's called the Congressional Cemetery because the people died. They buried them here because you couldn't send somebody home to the state of Texas in 1857 when he died. He would decay on the way home, so they buried them here. And these are particularly, I think they're called centigraphs, for congressmen that died while serving their country. <laughs> serving their, you know how all, some congressmen do, but too many don't. But anyway, so this guy died in 57. This guy here died in 58. Here's some over there. 1870, 1857. 41 years, I was the age, 41 years in 70. 47 years, 46 years, 1857. Are you having it? Mm -hmm. Do we know how lucky we are to have lived as long as we do? Doesn't say how old he was. This one was 38 years old from Arkansas. In 1868, 38 years old. I've lived twice as long as that man already. I'm going on the third. 1857, doesn't say what age. Look, 54 years. Doesn't say on Missouri. Now here's a tree. This this tree, this tree somehow should be more keep the camera going. Point at the tree. I'm pointing at the tree. That zoom in just I'm just saying that I'm standing on a dead tree. When the radical fairies go to cut down the tree for the use as their maypole. It's much smaller than this. They find one and they all gather their hands around it and they go, mmm, mmm, because they're, they're, they're humming for the spirit of the tree they're about to cut down and use for the maypole. This poor tree probably died or was struck by lightning. This poor tree probably consumed the Honorable Preston books who died in 1857 at the age of 37 years. Unbelievable. Look at all these kids, they're all so young, 49 years, 49, 45, man, let's get going. Yeah, this is terrible, I have to get going. We have to move fast, keep the camera going. Actually, you know, yeah, okay, let's, I'll read some more and then we'll close at the end of this. Okay, 52, April 49, 50, this is the Episcopal Church, and this is a chapel here. Now look here, a new one, see? Someone died in 1953. I don't know what these are. Maybe these are family spots that they haven't filled yet. I see no names on them. Maybe it's a, you know. So, anyway, so I'm going to tell you right now what we're going to do. Time is lapsing. I'm going to go down here. We're going to go visit the grave of Leonard Makovic. The gravestone reads, the army gave me a medal for killing two men and a dishonorable discharge for, uh, for loving one. And it's one of the most talked about and famous graves in the cemetery. And up the road is Jager Hoover tells him, I don't know where Frank County was because I call that the gay ghetto. Up here, I'm with J. Philip Fusa, Frank Brady. See, I broke out of the ghetto. They're not gonna put a name. Oh, he's a faggot, so he goes over there. Or he's a homosexual. He should be in the homosexual section. No, thank you. I'm gonna. I got my ground on the high ground because this is the private ground. Over there is low ground. It floods and the Potomac River runs by here. So I wonder if Hurricane, Sa Hurricane Sandy might hit here just right and all those people be washed away. And Wicker and Sylvia Rivera and Marjorie Johnson will still be standing. So cut the tape for now.